Staying with us, everybody, it all begins with a few steps. But a simple walk could open doors and change lives in the process. Scott Brazda has more in tonight's Spirit of Acadiana. This is the track at Charlie's Catholic High, and Saturday morning, a lot of people will be doing this, left, right, left, right, repeat, and it's all for a good cause. So it's a 5K walk for mental illness to raise awareness about mental illness. The host organization is NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And while walking and having fun and fundraising are parts of Saturday morning's event, the ultimate goal is to use those elements to bring the discussion about mental illness out of the shadows. And the more we can talk about it, we can bring down all those ugly st stigmas that surround it, and then we can help our community understand what mental illness really is. We change their view on mental illness. Why does NAMI and this NAMI Walks gathering matter? 18 years ago, NAMI's Karen Dubois watched her daughter battle mental illness. Dubois wishes she'd had more information then, so she could have done a better job of handling what turned out to be an escalating situation in the family. I'll admit that to this day, we're still suffering the consequences of what I did when I didn't understand mental illness and what was happening. Our event is NAMI Walks, and in this video, you see a lot, I mean a lot of feet moving. And students, college, high school, maybe even younger, can benefit from the doors that will open, the discussions that will happen Saturday morning 9 a.m. to noon at the Turnlands Catholic Football Stadium and Track. NAMI Walks may provide the perfect opportunity for perhaps NAMI Talks? Could be. Mental illness is not talked about. It's the big secret in the family. And some people don't find out about the mental illness in their family until the funeral. That's too late. We can't have that. 